y'all how y'all doing girl i'm never prepared so this is a chit chat to say we doing okay we do it more than okay and um <clears throat> just to fill y'all in on some things how some things are going so i decided to put on a cute little spring dress i don't have on a lot of makeup all i have on is um some lipstick, brows, some rouge. I spoke to my elder friend, Ms. Wanda. She calls it rouge. Some blush. Let me show you this dress. Now, I've gained 15 pounds. I've gained eight more pounds since y'all talked to me last. So, we got some, some, yeah, we, we, ooh, girl. <laughs> We've been eating. So, y'all, this is a chit-chat. Y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life. I talk about what I'm watching on YouTube. And I'm talking about what I'm watching on TV. Disclaimer, Miss Jackson, well, Miss Denza is fit to be tied. Um, We're going to get into it, girl. I, I've been sipping. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. I have, but this is not going to be a, one of those. My brows are probably doing crip signs or gang signs because they, girl, anyway. So what's going on in my on in my personal life disclaimer we are a even though i'm a youtuber my husband is a very private person he has asked for me not to be sharing his business with everyone which is why if you go back to my community page out of respect for him and i probably shouldn't have done it in the first place um knowing this is how he is i removed anything that had to do with him um, but just know that he is well. He is more than well. He had a procedure done. Um, he was able to come home after two days. And he is well. He's going to his doctor. Now, I'll just share with you guys just how it's been as a mother and as a wife. I will honestly have to say that the hardest thing for me was to let JB know. I went to go pick him up from school um, early and... I, we are very upfront with our child. We don't, we of course relay information to him with some padding because he's a child. He's only 10 years old. And so I'll let him know, and you guys, that's, he, he was doing that silent cry, which is horrible. So before we even went to the hospital, I just sat there and I consoled my baby and I held him and I let him know that everything was going to be okay. Even at the time when I didn't even know how things were going to be. Did that. Went to go see my husband. He was fine. He was up. He was talking. He was fine. I will just have to say for me personally, I'm going to maneuver this to me because as I stated, he's private and we're actually both... We are a little bit private. You guys don't even know everything that's been going on with me and my medical because I just don't want that out there. Um, this has been eye opener for me because, and I've mentioned this before in some vlogs before a couple of years ago when my husband was having some issues. Even though he is older than me on paper, he is healthier. If we were to do a whole chart BMI, uh, allergies, your girl allergic to shellfish. I can't have no type of shrimp scampi. You know, he, <laughs> um, on paper, he is way healthier. This was a huge wake up call for me because <clears throat> I've, of course, being a, a, a wife and doing what I'm supposed to be doing, trying to manage the household, and that's how we, you know, break up our responsibilities. Is that I'm like, okay, yeah, I got a little bit of life insurance on everybody, we got everything, I got a little bit. Because I'm not thinking about, oh, I need to have enough to cover the entire, you know what I mean? I'm not thinking about that. And it's so funny because that's something that um, JB's teacher and I, because we, we talk about stuff like that because we were, you know, she was just catching up with me. And she's like, oh, no. She's like, if something were to happen to my husband, there is no way. I was, she's like, I wouldn't be able to afford my mortgage with three kids and his salary. Granted, I think I would be able to, but it's the little things like, I don't know where certain things are at. I don't know, like, this is the things that were going through in my head while he was going through surgery. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, 
what are his siblings' real name? And now I can laugh about it because we all use, at least as a family, we use, um, everyone has a nickname. Everyone has a, you know, everyone has a name. You call him by it. Even my own sister, he knows her as Nikki. He has no idea her real name is Ramika. Well, and thank you guys for all your prayers and wishes and everything. And this, this was difficult. I was doing a lot. Um, literally the same week, JB got sick, which, you know, it was all allergy related. Um, I started another uh, an addition contract thing. You, you, those of you who don't know, I have a full time job, but I always take on little jobs to help me pay off my debt. So I was scheduled. I was scheduled to take on another contract job, which I did. The only person that knew about my personal life was my full time job. I let them know they were very supportive, but I, I didn't want to lose that opportunity. So I was working. <sighs> All of that, taking JB to the doctor. And every time I left the house, I was a wreck. I was a nervous, just, I would just let it all out. And But when I came home, I wanted to be strong for my husband and for my child. And I put on a strong face and I let it go. But I'm telling you, like, there were some days where I seriously, it wasn't a why me. It was like, I'm done. I'm tired. I am so tired. But I know that if I wouldn't do it, who would? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, who's going to do it? So we are in a better space. I'm in a better space. I'm trying to get back into the habit of what I used to do. Um, and we're getting there. We really are. We have a staycation planned in a couple of more days because we had to cancel our vacation. We had um, planned to go to Austin for a couple of days. We had to cancel all that. And I JB has been in camp. He's doing well, my poor baby. No, he's doing good. JB is getting taller. He's losing weight, child. So he's staying busy with that. He was supposed to be in camp this week, but he he's having some type of I took him to the doctor. He's coughing and a lot. He's have laryngitis. And so I think it's due to allergies, girl. This Texas allergies ain't no joke. And speaking of Texas, there was a crazy storm here a week ago that blew out uh electricity for like over 75,000 people in East Texas. And my dad was out, my parents, excuse me, were out electricity. And then my sister was out. And I was monitoring it. And if it didn't come on within the next 24 hours, I was going to have my, my father to come here. Because my mama, her fast butt, she went to Florida with her sisters or with her siblings. And so I was like, wait a minute, mama went ahead and left? And he's like, yeah, it's okay. Ciao. And they didn't get power then I was going to get our house ready to take in my dad and my sister and her kids. My sister, she said she was okay with her kids and their, you know, their AC where electricity eventually came back on. But my dad said he was going to go ahead and come on, but everything turned back on for them. And I'm actually going to call him when I'm done with this chit chat to make sure he's okay because you want to make sure they're fine and all that. Um, doing all this or ordeal, my best friend was extremely supportive. Um, so funny, my husband, y'all, I'm country, and a part of me is set in my ways. So my husband has a push button car. I don't know how to drive those. Matter of fact, I want me to get me a car that has the gears up here near the steering wheel. That's what I want. Matter of fact, I want a Cutlass Supreme. That's what I want. <laughs> so. I had to call her and be like, I need for you to drive his car. She's like, oh, sure. I got you. So she came over. We dropped the baby off um, with her her kids. She has an older daughter, a teenage daughter, and they watched him. She's like, I, I, if you need me to keep him for a few days, I got it. I said, well, we're okay. We're okay for now. But she was extremely, that's the reason why we moved to this particular city, Forney, is so I could be next to her, she could be next to me, and we support each other and bounce off of each other. Because we've been friends. We all have known each other for 20 years, me, her, and my husband. We've known each other and been with each other for 20 years, cause, so we trust each other wholeheartedly, okay? So anyway, that going on, JB and Camp, um, have our staycation next week. Yeah, girl, that is it. 
for a personal life. And like I said, thank y'all again for all your well wishes. So, girl, what I'm watching on YouTube. So, child, I just, before I came on cam, I was watching Lovely T.I. And I guess, I really don't understand how people put their spouses, ex, ex-spouses, ex Stop putting so much information on social media. I don't get that. Even when you're upset, sorry y'all, even if you're upset with someone, you want to vent, let it out, say it out loud. Don't put stuff on social media. It's the line. Kamara Lee and Russell Simmons with his old ass were going back and forth. And Kamara was basically like, Russell is an asshole, which he actually comes across like that. But I think, the most, the creepy thing about Russell Simmons to me, in my opinion, is that he started dating Kamora Lee when she was only 16. She was a child. He was in his 30s. What type of creepy ass shit? So, yeah, it's just creepy. It's just creepy to me. I'm still watching my cold cases. I'm into it. Still watch, you know, watching the true crime. So, y'all, Peach. Peach is a YouTuber that has seven kids. And I first discovered her. One of her very popular videos was um, housing or section H. And I was curious what it was like. Because, you know, yeah, excuse my light. Girl, you would think this is housing or section A. But that's my light, y'all. But anyway, I was just curious to see what it is. And she just was showing. And so in this particular video, she was just showing how just because you're on section eight or living in housing don't mean you have to be ghetto you know what i mean you can still keep your place nice you can make it work so that was like a couple of years ago and i think she's had like a, a one or two babies since then and so i resubscribed to her over the course of the last three years and i wouldn't really watch a full video but every now and then i'll tune in and see what's going on she you know she's married you know this now and she had I don't know if she was serious, but she did come across, she came across serious. So she had posted a video basically calling out her husband and saying how he's no good. He was still sleeping and not doing anything. And she had to get the kids and take them to camp, right? And she's done some other videos, you know, that was just very like, are you doing this because you really are sincere and concerned? Or are you doing this for views? Like, what is it? And I was done. And so I was like, okay, I'm on sub because I ain't got time for this shit. Literally a couple of days later, Linda Land did a video. And I was like, oh, <laughs> she did a video and to react in reaction to just all the foolery that Peach has been doing. And one of my subscribers, girl, I think it was Teresa Ruiz. Hey, girl, girl. Um, you had commented on my video. I'm not comment, excuse me. And so that got me thinking about what is her name? Strong Mommy Chrissy. I remember her. Strong Mommy Chrissy is another one of those. Child. Now she has, oh God, does she have seven kids or eight kids? I think she has like eight kids. And I think she's had like a baby since I stopped watching her. And she's not married. Strong Mommy Chrissy. She's not married. And I started watching her videos because she was getting calls from the other woman child and if i remember correctly strong mommy chrissy has like six or seven baby daddies y'all it's embarrassing and i think she's pregnant but i did um and that's about it y'all you know when it comes to youtube you know i try to be careful with the um with the true crime because it was starting to get to me every now and then. And so, yeah, just, just being careful what the type of content that I am being exposed to just in general, okay? What I'm watching on TV. So y'all, I've been watching quite a bit of um, shows and I've been binge watching. So girl, Black Mirror is back. Is it season six of Black Mirror? I binge watch all the episodes except one. And I took my time to look at, you know, the descriptions and see which ones I was interested in. The cast is phenomenal this season. But I would have to say that the storylines are lackluster. There's not one that I was like, wow, that was great. Let me watch it again. Unlike seasons one through five. Honestly, there really weren't. 
Um, there's none. I did like the astronaut you know, one, but it's, I wasn't surprised by the eat it ending. It was very, I mean, um, I have one more left to watch and it's the has the young lady from Atlanta, the um, light skinned girl with the paparazzis. Um, besides that, none of them are like, it's okay, but it's not as great as the other seasons, I should say. Girl, we're going to talk about it and spoilers. There's going to be some spoilers. Let me finish this y'all. I binge watch Queen Charlotte. I absolutely love it. I loved it. Now, do I think that it is the best of all of the Bridgerton? I actually prefer season one because it was just so like, but I will have to say that Queen Charlotte gave you some explanations to why Queen Charlotte is the way she is and how we came, how we came to have people who are lords and of uh, and the elite, I should say, that are people of color. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like me, if you watch season one of uh, Bridgerton, you're like, wait a minute. There were, pe there were people of color doing all this? Yes. And now we know why. It's due to Queen Charlotte. Um, I will, my, my only... My only negative thing to say is that I feel like the actress, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like everyone did a phenomenal job. Really, they really did. However, I feel like the actress, Queen Charlotte, she's playing a 17-year-old. To have that type of personality um, and knowingness almost and maturity, that's very uncommon. For someone who's 17, even for someone who was 17, 200, 300 years ago, I feel like the type of grace and maturity only comes with age. And I just feel like the character came out the woodworks with that strong type of personality, which it is, it, it didn't really take away from the storyline at all. I, that's just the only thing negative I had to say about it. But overall, like I said, absolutely enjoyed it. Not surprised by anything, to say the least. Although, Grandpa, I'm, I'm glad I finished my, my wine. Lord Dunbarry. Okay, so if anyone has... <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Have you seen Django Unchained and, and the character that Samuel L. Jackson plays? Basically, Lord Dunbarry, is it Dunbarry, Danbury? Lord Danbury could be um, Django, Samuel L. Jackson's daddy or granddaddy. That's how crusty, musty, child. And when I tell you, and I think I even told one of y'all, I was eating. I was eating like Chick-fil-A when I, that scene came on and he was having sex with his wife who was lady, who turned out to be Lady Danbury. And she's very young at least a good 30 years his his junior. Let me tell you something. He rolled off the top of that girl and took those dentures out. I was like, oh shit, you, <laughs> ooh, uh-uh, no. And so then there was a, a scene where she was like, if he has to put one of his big babies in me. I'm like, big babies? What type of freaky shit is he into? Then I'm like, oh, she's talking about actual kid. <laughs> Yeah. I'm thinking what type of freaking shit is this old ass man into but she's talking about actual babies mm, poor 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 woman but absolutely loved it and so it shows you I did like the storyline for everybody and I absolutely adored um, the young woman that played Queen Charlotte she had her mannerisms down relationship between Lord Danbury and the king's um, mother. The absolute um, friendly competition between those two, I think. But the story, but the story of the king and his actual mental illness was absolutely sad, you guys. And so at first when he was having his little episodes, excuse me, it's not little, I'm not gonna try to um, 
you know, it's not a, a minor thing. When he was having his episodes, I was thinking perhaps this is schizophrenia. No, it wasn't schizophrenia. Manic bipolar, uh, manic personality disorder. It, it seems like a couple of different things. And within the first, what, the first season, which I don't know if this is only going to be one season or what. I really do hope it's going to be multiple seasons. Um, she's pregnant twice. And as she's getting to know him, she's finding out that he has all of these mental issues and he lets her know sometimes I'm here and sometimes I'm not. And that, that actually had me thinking like, would you be able, me personally, would I be able to continue a relationship with someone that has um mental issues and you didn't discover it until after the fact it takes a certain type of person to deal with it i think and she was in a different situation it was a different time period and all that you have to take into consideration so very very interesting now i will say the scene where lady danbury when she starts crying and the mother of the king is like Shh, stop it <laughs> she's basically like just because i don't want to i don't care what's going on i don't want to i don't want to hear it i don't care about your problem i got my own damn problems you didn't see my son you didn't see <laughs> i got my own problem so you need to stop crying we gonna have some of this brandy that scene reminded me of the scene in dolores claiborne one of my favorite stephen king um books and when Dolores actually breaks down crying, she's she's cleaning up and she breaks down crying, crying in front of, excuse me y'all, in front of Miss Vera, the woman she works for who is snotty as hell, right? Miss Vera and Miss Vera's like, what the hell? <laughs> Miss Vera tells one of the maids to go put on some tea and she's like, what the hell is this in front of me? What make this strong woman turn into a bub bubbling mess? And that's when Dolores tells her that her husband has been molesting the child. When Vera told, tells her, look, an accident can be an unhappy wife's best friend. And she says her classic line, sometimes being a bitch is all a woman has to hang on to. I absolutely love the movie. Um, but anyway, that's the comparison for me that I, I found for me in that scene and the scene in Queen Charlotte absolutely adorable the last scene was so heartwarming you see a glimpse of the king coming back for a little bit and he lets her know that she didn't go over over the wall because queen charlotte was going to escape the marriage on her wedding day by trying to go over the wall and he caught her in the garden and wouldn't allow her to go over the wall and that's why they are together and so Queen Charlotte finally got her grandchild and she's so happy and, and that's so important to even nowadays for people to carry on the legacy of the family name and tradition and all of that. <clears throat> so I enjoyed it. I really did. Now some other shows that I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with the Yellow Jackets heifers. I, I'm still on season two. I'm going to go back and rewatch Peaky Blinders. You guys. It's a little sad because the um, woman that plays the sister in Peaky Blinders, she passed away of cancer a year ago. Uh, so I want to, but I want to go back and watch the entire seasons, um, all of them, just so I can get caught up. And I'm going to finish Blood and Water, the South African show, which is very good. I think they're on season three. So that is it, you guys. I am officially back. Give me some time. Um, I need to get back into the habit of doing things. I'm going to be on vacation. I'm wrapping up a project and I should be good to go. I do have some content available. I'm going to be making it live and, and available for y'all to look at. So thank you again for everything. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the future. Take care. Bye.